What's going on, everyone? This is Rob here with Our Killer Outdoors, and I got Lily with me today. Say hi, Lily. She just woke up from her nap. I was getting ready to shoot a quick video to finish up uh, bait and tackle, pretty much. I got spinner baits left, and then I got uh, soft plastic jerk baits or flukes left, and that's it for tackle. Then we can start talking rods, reels, things like that. So today we got spinner baits. So I'll go through, show you my favorite spinner baits, show you my favorite trailers. baits uh like everything else i have a good bit of them uh that's just from over time trying a bunch i have some uh strike king ones in there uh that look similar to this that come with their own trailer hook on it already uh i have some war eagle ones on here that you can see i put a trailer hook on it and uh i use these trailer hooks for a long time i don't necessarily like these ones show you a little better option i don't like how the the clear plastic tube and goes all rotted and ugly after time so i haven't found a little bit better option i believe uh owner makes it. i'll show you that in a second but uh my favorite spinner bait uh gonna jump right into it my favorite one to start the year off with when i'm fishing uh very early that 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 transition back to spring uh very very early pre-spawn I love the river to sea bling spinner baits. So, and you'll see my basic colors, some kind of shad imitator, some kind of chartreuse for the spring. And then I, I the spring, I, I love a red, <coughs> whether it's just putting a red blade on like this uh, striking one, but I love a red blade. And so these blings from river to sea are one of my favorites because you can you can throw them out there and reel them back extremely slow and those blades don't stop they don't collapse those blades spin at a probably the slowest you can reel a spinner bait back these still spin on those river to sea blades so those are the ones i start my transition out on uh as we're getting towards uh, the spawn pre-spawn uh that's the first spinner bait i'm gonna pick up and one of the first baits i'm gonna pick up uh then my favorite ones, once that period is over and once the slow rolling is over, as we get more into the burning, I like the Pulsators from Nichols. So I have two styles here you can see. So I got the one with the flashier blades. So they're my sunnier day ones. Uh, the Pulsators with the flashier blades like these two. And then you'll see I have the painted blades. Painted blades are my cloudy day spinner baits. And uh, my secret, my favorite spinner bait color, regardless, you see, I have a lot of white, uh, usually trying to imitate a bait fish. And I like that white and chartreuse and I'll throw a green pumpkin trailer on it. If I'm trying to, if I'm not in a shad water around here, that seems to work. Uh, this is my favorite color spinner bait. That black, purple, blue, something dark, something. Most people aren't throwing a dark color spinner bait. And I mean, I don't know what it is about this. Maybe it's just the bluegill that are eating more up here north where I am than, and I don't have many shad lakes, but I see them even on the shad lakes. Black and blue seems to be my deal. So uh, cloudy days, that's the first one I picked up. I make them prove to me they're not gonna eat that one. Uh, yeah, so Nichols Pulsators. I like, like I said, I like the shinier blades, <coughs> shinier blades on uh, sunny days and some kind of painted blade on the cloudy days. But uh, that's just how I do it. Uh, like I said, I like the slow rolling of the bling. Nichols Pulsators are my favorite. I do have some other ones in the box, like the Warrior Eagle and the Strike King. And I'll show you this one. This is just a little mini bait ball spinner hybrid by Live Target. Just another option when you see them schooling up on bait fish or something like that, I keep in the box. So trailers real quick, because I'm not going to keep you long on this. That's how, that's really how simple I keep my spinner baits. Uh, trailer hooks and trailers. So I don't love fishing trailers. I will from time to time. This is probably my favorite as far as the bigger profile goes, the Largo Shads. Uh, 
they have a bigger profile they add bulk to the spinner bait which obviously if you're putting a trailer on it you're trying to add a little something give them a little more enticement in the meal most of the time i don't think you have to do that on a spinner bait which is why more often than not i'll hook i'll opt to a trailer hook so this is the trailer hook i like to use i'll link it below i believe it's an owner one but uh see how it's all black when it, it's all black covered in rubber when it comes you just punch <laughs> your hook straight down through that and then weave it around like that so <clears throat> it's that simple i do like to put the trailer hook on when i'm fishing more open water if i'm throwing in the lay downs i don't put the trailer hook in two hooks is just going to increase your chance of snagging on something and a spinner bait believe it or not you gonna go play with the doggies okay spinner bait believe it or not is a very weedless bait to begin with when it comes to throwing around cover and logs so you figure your line tied in here you're coming across logs out here most of the time it's riding up over you really got to get it to turn to even have a chance of hooking i could it's hard to even hook my arm so it is a very weedless bait uh you put that travel hook or that trailer hook on it of course now you're up in your chances of snagging in those lay downs but i will tell you this i've had days where i didn't need the trailer hook they were eating it good i've had days where i may have caught eight fish seven of them were on that trailer hook and i may not even knew they were biting the spinner bait if the trailer hook wasn't on there so i do opt for that trailer hook more often than not if you like both, there is a way to rig both. Uh, my buddy John John does it all the time. He puts the trailer on first, then runs the trailer hook down, pulls the tail back, gets the trailer hook down to about here. So picture it's already on. You run this trailer hook down underneath the tail, and then you have it hanging here, and you have the tail back here. So the tail should kick up on your normal paddle tail, and this is running just below the tail. The times I tried it, Every other cast, my tail was wrapped in the trailer hook. I, I didn't like it, so I don't recommend it. But there is a way to do it. If there's a will, there's a way, and you could do it. I don't recommend doing it. So, uh, yeah, that's how keep easy I keep the spinner baits. Uh, white chartreuse, white. I really like a dark one. Don't rule out a dark one, a purple, a June bug, a blue. Some kind of red for that early, early spring when they're on that crawl bite, that believe it or not i know it looks nothing like a crawl it shouldn't imitate a crawl sometimes like i said just getting a red blade replacing this with a red blade is enough or orange blade you'll see guys do the orange blade just the one blade is enough sometimes to entice a strike so get out there throw that spinner bait around again like i always like to feel structure when i'm fishing even my spinner baits I'm, I'm usually slow rolling or dragging them across the bottom i almost drag them pop them sometimes uh that's the big thing with a spinner bait can you throw it out and just reel it back and get some bites yeah you can uh start throwing some pauses in your spinner bait if you don't do it already so my favorite way once the summer comes and yeah this is giving out my, my whole game when it comes to a spinner bait so when I'm reeling it, I'm always twitching the rod, always moving the rod, just making that spinner bait turn direction. Whether it's here, whether I'm throwing a twitch in, whether I'm throwing a pop in, just moving left to right. I am always moving that spinner bait. I hardly ever am I throwing that spinner bait out and having it come in directly back to me. There's times when that's all you have to do. And if that works for you, that's a great day. Throw that spinner bait, just reel it straight back. Give it to the kids, let them throw it on that day. But there's days where you have to hit that log with a spinner bait, hit those rocks with a spinner bait, or if you're coming through the water column, just change direction, throw some pauses in, do entice that strike, work that thing a little. So that's it for me and spinner baits. I appreciate you guys watching, and like I said, I think we got soft plastic jerk baits, and that wraps up my tackle for the year. Um, nothing new besides what you guys seen and then we'll jump into rods reels a couple setups a couple speeds of reels i use and uh i got a few more reels to clean for the year maybe i'll, I'll video one of that so you can see how i uh 
clean my reel going into the season and get it ready to go. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.